Hey guys, what's good? Yes, I am here. And today I'm I'm bringing you guys a live. I'm going to do VGC uh, for this one. I kind of play VGC a bit, and I really like it. So, you no, know, I want to just do a live for VGC because VGC is 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 an interesting um format, and I really like the whole doubles concept. So let's just hop into it and get a game. Keep in mind, I may not be the best at VGC considering I kinda just started, but I got in a, a lot of practice, you know, last night. So, let's see, let's see. I'm pretty hyped for this. <laughs> I'm pretty excited just to, uh, you know, play this and everything. So, this is lagging like it always does. Don't know why. And he has a pretty threatening team. Now, this team that I'm using, uh, I don't really know whose team is it, but a buddy of mine, um, Fishtix, uh, gave this to me, so I'm just gonna use it. Looking at his team, he might wanna, like, what is threat? Uh, Tata Flame might be a threat, uh, definitely. Terrakion, um, yeah, especially Terrakion, so I wanna, I, I kinda wanna try to lead Kanga, and I could try to lead Azu. I don't know if he wants to try to. He might be uh, this meow stick for so we'll see about that. Uh, let's see, who do I want to back? Terrakion. I could use. Yeah, Scrafty isn't looking like it's going to be doing anything uh, this game, so I'm going to use Amoongus, and I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use. Heat. Should I use Heat Rain or Thunderous? Hmm. I think. I think Thunders would be better just overall for the, uh, the team matchups and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead with this uh, set and everything. I really like this team. You know, you get to use some weird things, things that you would never see in tiers like maybe uh, OU UU. Just like it's a a no holds barn type of thing. So uh, he leads with my like he has a pretty good matchup versus my my squad. And honestly, he's probably going to close combat. Uh, my my Kangaskhan. Um, so what I could do is I could I could just switch directly into a and just protect with Azu because like I don't know actually no 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 because I don't have anything I could take out this yeah I should have brought Heat Ran ah okay let's see what can I do. I can. I'm going to go into my Amoongus and then I'm going to try to go into my Thunders because, like, I have nothing for these two mons. And, like, I was I was thinking if I should bring Heat Ran over Thunders and I should have, but I figured he was going to try to bring Talent Flame because I was looking like a, a huge threat to my team. So I'm going to uh, keep this Pokemon in the back. I'm going to try to get off a T-Wave on the Superior, just to uh, paralyze it, and Terrakion really isn't too much of a big deal, so yeah, I'm going to pull uh, two double switches, uh, going to miss the Leaf Storm, which is great, and he's pro oh yeah, he, he definitely close combat at that turn, so, so what I could do right here is I can, I could probably just, I could sport a Terrakion. And I'm going to T wave the the superior so I could bring in my my threats to the back for it. So yeah, it's gonna be my play to make. Um usually I do bring uh Heat Ran, but I, I, I was really certain he was gonna bring Talent Flame, but I guess he didn't want to because he was looking a a bit too much for my squad. So yeah, no biggie, no biggie. Um, what else could he have brought? He probably does have a uh, Tana Flame in the back, so I don't know. He's gonna leave Storm right there, which is fine. Um, and what else is he gonna do? He's gonna Rock Slide, which I figured he was gonna do. Um, this is gonna give me the opportunity to, to, uh, Belly Drum with my Azu, and I can just Rage Powder. Or what I could do is I could go into my Kangaskhan, but that won't kill the Superior. Hmm. I have two choices. 
I, I, I kind of think my best choice would be to do this and just rage powder powder with Amoongus. So uh, he can eat up this, uh, you know. So he can eat up this Leaf Storm. Because I don't think I need Amoongus that badly looking at the rest of his team. His Terrakion is sleep. And I do have Azu for that, but the biggest threats on uh, his team is looking like it's going to be this uh, superior because it's at plus two. So, going to Rage Powder right here and then going to go for the Power Up Punch on the superior just because I want to get plus two. Definitely want to get plus two. Definitely. Okay, so hopefully he stays asleep this turn. Because uh, if he wakes up, I essentially lost. Uh, he's going to be able to KO my Kangaskhan. Which would not be very, very nice for me. He's going to... Oh yeah, he, he made he made a really good play. Um, I can still use Rage Powder and then I can still go for uh, my Power of Punch. Uh, just to pretty much make him attack my Amoongus, like I said. So that's what exactly what I'm going to do. Same play again. Uh, he made a really good play by protecting... Uh, yeah, so if he if he does that, I could just double attack um his Terrakion. Well, I could let my Amoongus die and come in with my Azu and just Aqua Jet that thing to, to death. So yeah, hopefully that works out for me. I, it looks like I still have a, a bit of a, a team advantage against him. Looking at what he could possibly have in the back is Garchomp and Talon Flame, just for Earthquake Spam, but uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, honestly. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my thought process on that one. So he's gonna take a minute to make a play, and I'm just gonna pause it until he comes back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, my opponent, I guess, I guess he timed out. So just got another one. Simple as that. Uh, looking at his squad, um, he might have he might bring Rotom Heat. So uh, I kind of want to lead Kanga Azuma Real again. This is definitely Zard Wild, wow, so I want to bring Heat Ran in the back. Uh, what can the Scrafty do? Uh, Scrafty can't really do anything to me. Uh, should I bring Amoongus? Amoongus checks. Not me of his Pokemon. Oh, do I honestly? But Rage Powder could be. Nah. I don't think so. I, I think personally that. How much? What, what would Thunderous do, though? Thunders wouldn't do anything. Maybe Scrafty would be better. I think Scrafty would be better. Uh overall over Dunders because Scrafty might put in a little bit more work versus team and if he does bring his Conk Kelder, I will be able to get off and intimidate versus that. So it's looking like a plan. Um he has a really interesting team. It's kinda looking like Trick Room, but maybe it isn't because he is it's a Charizard right here and yeah it wouldn't really make sense to bring a Charizard like fast Pokemon on the Trick Room team but I am seeing the Conk Kelder. I, I am seeing you know Gujar and all that stuff. So we'll see what he's going to do. Um, what I guess I, I can try to do if he doesn't leave Rotom Heat, I could try to belly jump up with Azu, just you know, try to uh, uh, plow through his team with that uh, Kanga um, Azu lead combo. But again, it's looking like my opponents are taking a while. Oh, finally. Okay, so he leads Zard Y and Ditto, basically. And this Ditto is not imposter. <laughs> <laughs> what what is this? What the, hello? Um honestly, just going to power up punch this ditto and then I'm going to switch out into my heat ram because I know I could take a one hit that he wants to go for. So that's gonna be that. Uh, I don't know why his ditto is not in posture. Maybe he messed up the abilities on that, but you know who knows? <laughs> who knows? Um like I said guys. You know, I'm just, you know, have trying to have fun with the, this whole VGC format and just want to get a few games in. I don't really care who I face necessarily as long as I get some fun battles and hopefully some good ones on the way. But <laughs> I don't know about that yet. So uh, he's taking a little while to make a move. I'm going to pause it again. Oh, never mind. He Every time I'm about to pause it, uh, they come back. So. Yeah, I don't know why they take forever to make a play. And, wow, what the heck? He transformed into his... Okay, I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to transform into his Charizard Y, but maybe that was his plan all along. Um, hmm. He might try to double attack me. Shoot. 
I'm gonna protect it with Kanga, and then I'm just gonna uh, Heat Wave right here. Because, like, he might try to double attack my Kanga, and I wanna get some chip damage off on his team. Heat Wave will do a chunk just because the sun is out and um, I'm max uh, special attack. So, it'll be able to dent, like, it won't really dent him, but it will hurt him quite a bit. Um, this is a really. <laughs> I didn't expect him to transform into his own Charizard. I thought he would at least try to transform into Heat Ran. It kind of would have made a bit more sense because my Heat Ran was his Charizard, unless this Charizard carries Focus Blast. But look at that! How he just solar beam, solar beamed my Heat Ran. He doesn't have Focus Blast. Uh, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know why these people take so long to make plays. I'm just gonna attempt to pause it again. Okay, he's back. Um, he dragon poses my heat ran and solar beams my Kangaskhan. I don't know why he wouldn't go for the fire move on that turn. And that did a hefty, a hefty, hefty chunk. So, what I'm thinking is Sucker Punch is going to be able to kill. And let's see. Sucker Punch is definitely going to be able to kill. So, I could just Sucker Punch on, on this on this ditto. And then I could just heat wave once again because I've. I know he can't touch me like at all. I don't know which Charizard is going to attack my Kangaskhan, but uh, that shouldn't matter too much, in all due honesty. Because um, if he, if he, if the, if the Pokemon, well, if the Charizard, like the one that I killed, tried to attack me, well, I didn't get that one, but he did get a crit, and so it did, it didn't really matter anyway. But. Yeah, definitely should have targeted this Charizard. Would have been better. He wouldn't have got off any damage on my Kangaskhan. And yeah. So well, unless he double attacked me, I don't know if he double attacked me. But looking at the way he's playing, um, he definitely. I don't know. I, I can't say for sure. But um, let's see. What else could he have? Like the only thing I could like, he doesn't have anything that wants to stop my my Zar. Like. He could have Reuniclus. If he does have Reuniclus, that could be a problem. Um, he does have Zard. Uh, hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect with my Kangaskhan, and then I'm going to uh, Heat Wave once again, just to get off some chip damage. He might try to double attack my Kanga. I highly doubt he wants to overheat, but if he does decide to overheat, he's going to give me my Heat Ran a plus, uh, you know, a plus special attack boost. Uh, well, not plus special attack boost, but um, he will boost boost my my fire type attacks. He will boost my my heat wave. So, <laughs> so he's going to decide to vote switch uh, for some reason. Don't know why he just did. It. He brought it in just the vote switch. I guess I could have just sucker punched his Charizard, but uh, hindsight, I suppose. Um, I thought he was honestly going to try to will o -Wiz. But I guess not. I wasn't going to let him, you know, just what was my Kangaskhan. So he's going to decide to um, Dragon Pulse, which is fine by me. Uh, hmm. What can I do right here? He has Rotom Heat. Azu could play a huge role. And looking at the way he's playing this, he's just attacking my, like he's straight attacking my um. My heat ran with his Charizard, which I don't know why. So hopefully he does that again, and I'm not going to sucker punch because Heat Wave will be able to kill. Uh, if he decides to Draco, um, that's going to give me a free opportunity to maybe go into my uh, Azumarill, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to belly jump up. Uh, yeah, I really don't know. Like I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he keeps solar beaming my Charizard. So. He does not uh, <laughs> attack my Kegas God, and it looks like I'm faster, so he decides to attack me this turn, which is fine. Going to be able to take that out. Um, let's see, what does he have left? And he decides to did he forfeit? Pretty sure he just forfeited. So, uh, no, 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 wait, 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 hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, it looks like my opponent has just disconnected, so I'm just gonna pause it and I'm gonna hop into another one. Alright guys, uh, looking at his team, hmm, Sylveon is a, is definitely a threat to my team. Gonna bring Kanga, gonna bring Azu again, I'm not gonna make this mistake of not bringing Heatran again, and then I'm going to bring 
if I bring Scrafty, it'll be a, it'll be a nice matchup versus his team, but not really. Uh, how about Amoongus? What Amoongus? What would Amoongus do? Amoongus can Rage Powder, Shenanigans. I'm not gonna be eating up Hyper Voices like at all, and I might be able to spore this uh, this Sylveon. So we're gonna play a bit offensively. And hopefully we can play around that. Um, don't really know what he's going to bring. Heat Ran is looking like a very, very nice matchup versus his team, considering he does have four Pokemon on this team that are weak to it. So it's really going to limit who he's going to be able to bring. But I'm 100% sure he's bringing Sylveon. 100%. Um, Sylveon is very, very good in VGC. It has Stab Hyper Voice, and Hyper Voice in VGC is a, uh, like it's a spread move, so it hits both my you know Pokemon and he leads Superior. Uh, which I was hoping he wouldn't. So, what I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to protect with my Kanga, and then I'm going to go into my Amoongus to hopefully try to uh bait it, bait in these Rage Powders. I don't want him to score me, which is why I'm going directly into Amoongus, and I kind of want to see what he's going to try to do. Uh, so hopefully with the combination of Rage Powder and um return from my Kanga's kind, I should be able to kind of go through his team but we'll see so going to go and go to my moongus right here and then i'm going to protect just the scout i want to see what he uh, uh went for yeah he went for rage power and then he went for leaf storm on my azu which is what i expected in all due honesty so um this this superior is a threat so what i'm gonna do right here is that i'm just going to double attack his superior like I'm, I'm gonna, I need a double attack this thing, so I'm a rage powder right here, just so he can attack my Amoongus over, you know, so he can attack my Amoongus over my Kangaskhan. Uh, I should have let Heat ran. Ah, oh, that would have been nice, but yeah, I definitely should have let Heat ran. But I, I, I was kind of fearing he was gonna lead Escudio, but that didn't really matter. Yeah, I definitely should have lead Heat ran, but I tried to get like. A lot of offensive, mo uh, a lot of offensive momentum going on with that. So he uh, attacks me anyway, which is fine. Uh, puts my uh, Kings kind to sleep. And wait, what happened? Hello? Did did he just quit? Did did he really just quit? Why? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, pause it and get another one. I'm, I'm gonna get some good games. Skip this. I'm not gonna end it on a note like this. All right, guys. This dude is looking like he has a pretty, pretty serious team. He has Blaziken. I have not seen Blaziken like at all. So this is my first time seeing Blaziken in VGC. So we will see how this turn out. Looking at his team, Landorus definitely might be a potential lead. Uh, I could lead Kanga Heat Ram. Definitely could. Uh, Thunders is looking like it's going to be very useful to me. So I'm gonna lead Kanga. I'm gonna lead. What is Azu doing for me? Azu can kind of put in some work. Kind of. Um. Hmm. Scrafty might put in some work. Ah, uh, decisions. Uh, what is, what is Thunders doing to his team? Thunderous, well, if this is Rock, uh, if this is Scarf Landers, that might be a, a little bit of a problem. So, like, I don't want to bank this being Scarf Landers, so I'm not going to bring my Thunderous this game. I'm going to instead bring my, should I bring Heat Ran? Heat Ran, definitely. And, and my Scrafty, because it's looking like it has the best matchup versus his team overall. Uh, where's Azu? I'm not going to, yeah. Uh, who do I lead? Yeah, I'm not going to lead Azu just in case he wants to lead, uh, um, Mega Sceptile, and you know, so I'm not gonna do that. Going to bring, well, yeah, should I bring as Azu or Mungus? Hmm, decision, decisions. Uh, I can spoil like a lot of his team. I'm going to try to bring Azumura. I'm gonna try to bring Azumura. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, that is not a a bad decision. It's looking like it it'll be pretty decent. Uh, did I bring Scrafty? Yeah, I brought Scrafty just in case. Uh, he wants to bring Landers in. Yeah, he does decide to lead with this uh, duo. 
so what I can do right here is that I can I don't know he might try to protect with his um with his centile so I'm going to return this tentacle and then I'm just going to heat wave because like focus blast I can eat it up and scald I can eat it up unless he double attacks me but I, I really think he's gonna protect so we're gonna go for that uh, combo that combo alright so I don't really know what tentacruel does in VGC I have never seen one like ever so um hmm yeah I don't know what this thing does what does tentacruel do hmm I don't know but he's going to decide to switch into his landers perfectly fine by me I kind of figured he was going to bring landers uh which is why I brought scrappy oh this thing has muddy water okay interesting 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 so this is gonna be a dead uh tentacle if I could hit which I do get a heavy hit out on this landers now let me see I don't see any item on this landers so what I'm assuming right here is that this landers is scarfed and he's probably going to want an earthquake but let's see what he wants to bring in he, he might want to try to bring in septile again um I kind of just want to check this landers in all due honesty uh, if he has Blaziken, I, that might be a little bit, bit of a problem for me. But I do have my uh, Azul in the back, and just in case he does. So, he's going to take a moment to decide who he wants to bring in. And it is Blaziken, which I kind of figured. So, I'm going to... Uh, he, he's definitely going to protect with his Blaziken. Definitely. Uh, going to bring in... I'm going to bring in Scrafty, and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to protect, so he won't be able to like earthquake again. Cause I'm pretty sure he's gonna earthquake with this blaze again. Uh, I don't think it's a mega. Did he? No, he didn't make a septile, so I don't know. He just switched right out, so either or could be his mega. Um. Blaziken could be a huge threat, but like I said guys, I do have Azu in the back, which I saved for a special occasion of this sort. Um, I'm just going to bring in uh, my landers for the double intimidate, and I figured he was going to try to uh, earthquake. He definitely did, definitely. So, that is fine by me. Um, Let's see, he might try to high jump kick my... He might try to high jump kick. However, he's not going to Earthquake again. If he Earthquakes again, he kills his Blaziken. He kills his Blaziken if he Earthquakes again. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to fake out the, this Blaziken. And then I'm going to Heat Wave. Because, like I said, if he Earthquakes, he kills his Blaziken anyway. And it'll be better for me. Even though my Heat Trend dies. Um, I still have Kanga. I still have uh, Azu. Kind of. I don't know. Azu wouldn't do well at all versus Septile. But... Uh, this is more than likely his megas, but I don't. I'm pretty sure the Scrafty could could bulk uh, earthquake. <laughs> so Azu is just gonna chill in the back for a second. Although I could go into Azu right here and just belly jump up, but eh, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to. Although that would be a really good play. That that really would be a good play if I did that. But what if he just switches out into Sceptile right here? Like I don't know what he wants to do. I really don't. Um. He might, so I'm just gonna stay in and decide to do this. So he's taking a little bit to decide what he wants to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it again. Okay, so what he did was he hammer armed. Um, what did he hammer arm? Energy. Who did he? Oh, he's not scarf. He hammer armed my uh, heat ran, which did a, a, a lot to me. And he didn't, like, I thought he was Scarf, so I figured he wasn't going to Earthquake again. Um, let's see, what can I do? What can I do? Uh, honestly, like, he might try to go for that Earthquake combo again. So, I guess my best play would be to just Ice Punch his Landers and then just, um, protect with my, protect with my Heat Ran. Because... I highly doubt he's going to, he might, because he's able to protect this turn, so he might try to do that to knock me out. Uh, I can bulk any hit he wants to go for, it. so, and he just, wait, how did he lose to an inactivity? What? Hello? What is up with everybody just forfeiting and just leaving the game? 
Uh, all right, guys. Going to get probably one more. All right, guys. Uh, looking at his team, of course, he does have the legendary, the legendary rain team. Um, hmm. Which his abuse is Mega Pert, so I definitely want some Pokemon for Mega Pert in the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring main. Should I bring main Hmm. 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 I'm going to lead. Uh, I'm going to lead Amoongus, and then I'm going to lead uh, Rotom because it matches up well versus team. Uh, in the back, in the back. Uh, I'm going to have my Talon Flame, and I'm going to have. Hmm. 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 May maybe Magnetric. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to try to have May Natural in the back. So we'll see how this goes uh, with this team. Uh, I, I've been seeing Rain a lot, honestly, in VGC. But it's kind of it's kind of looking like a, a really weird Rain team. Uh, I'm guessing he's going to bring these four Pokemon. He does have two Rain setters uh, on his squad. But he, more than likely, he's going to start off leading Polytoe Swamp Hurt. Oh, well, he leads Clef Key, which is honestly fine by me. Um... Going to rage powder uh, this turn in case he wants to uh, try to hydro pump. I mean, Giga Drain my uh, my World of Watch. Then I'm just going to Willow Wisp this uh, Ludicolo because it is a threat to my team. Yeah, I really didn't expect him to lead uh, like that. So I definitely want to keep my Rotom Watch uh, healthy. So I don't want him to Giga Drain that just yet. I just want to get off the Wisp uh, too. Um, kind of hinder him, and he does have fake out, which uh, I don't really care too much about. And I get off the burn, which is very, very nice, very, very, very nice. Um, hmm. Going to like I'm going to spore his cleft key, and then I'm going to bring in my talent flame because, like. I highly doubt he, he's not going to go for T-Wave on my Rotom Predicting Switch. He's probably going to go for Giga Drain and or, and or Rain Dance. I don't know. But either or, I could just spore this thing, put this thing to sleep, and then bring in my, my threat to kind of just, you know, smack through his whole team. Because Talon Flame is a huge threat in the VGC. And this is like uh, a team I made. I kind of want to make Volturn, but it didn't really come out in a Volturn way. So, <laughs> yeah, that is perfectly fine by me. Put this Clef Key to sleep. Uh, I don't want to take any water hit, although I could Rage Powder this turn, or I could just risk, no, I, I don't want to. He could definitely bring in his, his Swamp Perk, but if he goes for a water type attack on my, like if I get paralyzed and he goes for a water type attack, I'm kind of screwed, so I don't really want to mess around with that. Uh, so I'm going to Rage Powder anyway, and then I'm going to uh, Brave Bird this Ludicolo. Because uh, I am Skyplate, uh, Skyplate SD, so it should be doing some, some very, very, very heavy damage. Very heavy. Uh, I doubt he, he's going to want, want to bring in Mega Swamp Hurt after this because uh, I still have my Moongus out and I can just Giga Drain that thing to Oblivion and switch out into my uh, Rotom Wash, which I do have for uh, anti-rain purposes. So yeah. Um, I'm going to get off the Rage Powder, powder right there. It would have been really nice if I got off the SD, but... Really doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, don't really care too much. Let's see what he's going to bring out. Like the only thing I can see him bringing out is his Swamp Perk. I really do. Or he could bring out his Dragonite, start Dragon Dancing up. But even if that's the case, I can still go into my Rotom, get a couple of Willow Wisps off, and just get a Drain Swamp Perk. If that if he brought that instead, maybe. So yeah, uh, he brings in Dragonite. Which is perfectly fine by me. Going to just decide to spore this Dragonite. And then bring in my... Hmm. I'm going to bring in my my, uh, bring in my Magnetric. So I can uh, uh, hopefully get off the Intimidate. Wait, am I Lightning Rod? Am I Lightning Rod? Is that... Am I Lightning Rod? Hold on. Am I... I don't know if I'm Lightning Rod. <laughs> but, um... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Just going to switch out right here. Uh, try to spoil this thing. Uh, I don't know what these things carry. They usually carry um, weakness policy, so I have to watch out for that. 
but I'm just going to sport this thing, uh, just in case, just, just, uh, you know, send it a bit, and he's taking a little minute to make us move, we're going to pause again, okay, so I'm able to go into my main magic right here as the Aqua Jets, which I didn't see coming at all, like, literally, I, I, I didn't see that coming, <laughs> going to... Going to just, I don't know, I, I, can, I can just do anything at this point. I could just Giga Drain his Dragonite, and then I can Mega Evolve and get off a Hitting Power Ice on this Dragonite. So we'll see if it's weakness policy, I don't know. Maybe? But I have no reason not to go for these plays. I could switch out my movies into my my Titan Flame to just switch things up and try to just go, uh, plot through a scene, but don't really want to. Just want to get off damage on this Dragonite. So, I'm going to be able to Mega Evolve, get off my Intimidate, which is great. I'm going to be able to hit a Power Ice, which does a huge chunk uh, to this Pokemon. And he's going to be able to get off a Draining Kiss, which I don't really care too much about. Uh, so, what I'm going to do right here is that I don't want him to attack my uh, Magnetric, like in case he wakes up. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to Rage Power Powder and then hit a Power Ice this Dragonite again. Just in case he does wake up this turn, um, Among Us will be able to sponge this hit, which is very, very nice for me. And if he does attack me again with his Clef Key, uh, uh, it'll all hit Among Us. So, yeah. Um, I don't really know what his last Pokemon is. Uh, who does he have? He had Ludicolo. So, yeah, don't know. Where is he? Right here, who is, uh, his last is. And it's looked like, um, the rain has stopped, finally. But he can just set it up again, which could be a potential problem. Let's see, who does he have? Like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have Polito at this point, so it's between Heliolus and it's between Swampert. If it's Swampert, I could just get a drain that, and I could go into my Road and Wash uh, for that. You know, just to kind of keep it in check, it matches up well versus his um, his last two mons. Uh, if he does have Heliolus, um, what do I have for that? Like, I've never seen Heliolus before. Uh, I, I, I got my talent flame for that, so it turns out it is Swampert. What I'm gonna do right here is that I'm just going to end up Giga Draining this uh, Swampert and then switching out into my Rotom Wash to basically eat up any hit he wants to go for. If he wants to protect with his Swampert, that's fine. If he wants to take this turn with Clef Key to get off the Rain Dance, that's also fine. Or he could just try to get another screen. Again, I don't really care that much. So long as the Swamp Pert doesn't have like Ice Punch or something like that, but pretty sure it doesn't. Um, yeah, I figured he was going to protect this turn and get up the rain, uh, which I, yeah, I figured. So, what I'm gonna do with this turn, I could Rage Powder, but he's probably gonna go for Earthquake, so I'm just gonna Giga Drain this thing, and then I'm going to Will O Wisp uh, Swamp Pert. Just because I want to neutralize the threat if it does live, I don't want him to like, I don't know, I'm kind of paranoid. Although I could just Will-O-Wisp the Clef key, uh, the Clef. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, no, no. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Going to Giga Drain the Swamp Pert. And then I'm gonna Hydro Pump the Roll, I mean, the Clef key. Just because I won't damage off anything. Yeah, he did have the Giga Drain. Uh, looks like my plays didn't come to effect, but kind of helped me out. So, I'm going to be able to uh, get a lot of my HP back with that play. And his Swamp Pert is burnt. And pretty much neutralized and he just forfeited right there because that was pretty much a good game So again guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye